Boom. Alright, what's up you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about how and why there are so many losing stocks in the market right now, but more importantly, about the few winning stocks that are out there and why I'm confident in the fact that these specific stocks can continue to see green while the majority of the markets see red. All right, you guys, so in front of us is TradingView, where we will be looking at two charts today. Those charts belong to Roblox and SoFi. On top of looking at these two on the charts, I do have some honorable mentions that I want to share with you. So we'll go over those tickers and those companies after we cover these two on the charts because I am, as I just said, bullish on those puppies as well. Okay. So before we talk specific tickers, before we dive into the charts and talk technicals, we have to cover the fundamental basis. We have to understand what's going on from a macroeconomic perspective and what's causing all of this volatility across the stock market. Okay. So in order to do that, in as composed a fashion I can. We are going to read through the primary newsletter that I sent out this morning. It begins with how I'm personally navigating this very volatile, this crazy stock market, and uh, thankfully being successful in the process. So we'll kick it off with that. We will then go on to talk about Target and Walmart's earnings, which were the primary catalyst for the downside today, considering their reports were very, very disappointing, and we will go into why that is and why that is so detrimental to the stock market at this moment in time. Not just the stock market, but the economy overall. Okay, and after we cover that, we are going to zoom out a little bit, get a little more macro, go over some points we've covered on the channel before, but regardless, some points that are very, very important when it comes to analyzing the current macro backdrop, and that is that people are running out of money and why, once again, that's bad news for not just the economy, but for the markets as well, okay? But to top it off, end it on a good note and uh, use this last little, little segment to segue into talking about growth stocks because I talk about why I am bullish on growth stocks right now and uh, why I'm bullish on these, these names specifically, okay? So that's the breakdown of the video today, you guys. Before we get to reading, before we get to talking, talking some shop, I do wanna let you guys know that I just added a new seven day free trial to my complete portfolio and newsletter product first link down in the description but this is exactly as it states a complete breakdown of my entire personal portfolio you want to know how i'm trading each of the names that we're going to be covering today and these are only just a small handful of the positions you want to know what call options i have you want to know when I'm adding to the dips. You want to know when I'm taking profits on some winning positions. You want to know when I'm adding to crypto. Literally every single position in my portfolio, which is updated every single trading day during market hours, is in this product. And you get the complete newsletter as well. So this one we're going to be reading through. This is one of three. The first is the trade alert. And I do upload these onto Teachable every day as well. The first is the trade alert. The second is the primary one, which we will be reading through once again. And then lastly, I go over some specific analyses include some charts here uh, whatever i feel is most important to cover on that given trading day throw some charts in there throw some price targets in and uh that is literally every day so you get it free you guys tomorrow's my birthday come on you guys you can give me a free gift so just sign up for free if you don't like it just unsubscribe it's that easy but hey i mean 15 bucks a month this pays itself off in no time, at least, at least talking over the past couple of weeks, okay? And uh, again, very thankful to say that these past couple of weeks have been extremely lucrative, lucrative for the home team, even in the wake of all this, all this market craziness, okay? So once again, first link down in the description box below, it means a lot if you guys check that out. Uh, but if not, no worries at all. You're lost. Uh, I appreciate you watching right now, though. Okay, so let's get to reading. We are halfway through a highly volatile week, and I'm proud to say that we're navigating these choppy seas in a very impressive manner. At the time of writing, the S&P 500 is down 3.5%. It ended up closing the day down 4%, which is staggering. Worst day since 2020. NASDAQ is down 4.7%. Triple Qs being down almost 5% in a single day is staggering. But considering it's the second time we've seen this in the span of only a week, it's a bit less shocking, okay? Although the Qs were down 5%, the Waze portfolio is up 5%, and even more than that as we closed out the day. As I said in the Trade Alert newsletter, this is a stock picker's market, and we're picking the right stocks. So what does that mean to you guys, stock picker's market? I'm sure you've heard that term before, but that means that you can't just buy into the indexes anymore, okay? During bull markets, during 2020, 2021, you bought the S&P, the NASDAQ, even like ARK or the Russell 2000. You just buy these baskets of stocks 
and you're pretty likely to do well. But right now, it's taking a good eye. It's taking those who can we who can, I mean, weave through the mess, find the find the find the diamonds in the rough, right? And that's what Roblox and so far. If you guys watch that video, uh, I just made last maybe last week sometime can't remember but talking about what my favorite stocks are right now these were some of them these are some of the stocks that again are the only green in a sea of red that was the watch list today okay that was the entire market today so uh again it takes a keen eye it takes uh takes proper due diligence and uh thankfully that's our job right so uh again playing this well and uh stoked uh, that you guys are riding with me on this okay so on top of the gains it's also extremely validating to see the small cap versus large cap thesis that we've been expecting to play out coming to fruition. The fact that Tesla is down 7.5%, while portfolio names like SoFi, Roblox, and CRISPR are in the green, speaks to the fact that capital is in fact flowing out of overbought mega caps into promising into more promising, I should say, oversold small caps. The primary reason mega caps are seeing so much pain today is primarily due to Walmart and Target reporting disappointing earnings over the past 12 hours. At the time of writing, Walmart is down 7% and Target is down a whopping 27%. Cut, cut, and over quartered, over quartered. That's crazy for Target. I thought, I honestly thought they might do decently considering everyone's getting back into, into brick and mortar, but. Hey, they proved us wrong and it was due to transportation costs took a massive toll on profit margins on the profit margins of these companies, which speaks to the negative effects of gas prices and inflation on these retail giants. But the reason these reports are scaring investors so much is because it shows that consumer spending is slowing, which is a direct sign of an economic recession. The markets have been in recession territory two consecutive negative quarters but the markets are typically a lagging indicator of the actual economy and it's obviously looking like the economy is finally starting to slow down I mean, crazy we've only been talking about this for <laughs> since, since what january february right it seemed very evident that the consumer has been running out of expend expendable capital or money money to blow but it's not surprising that many investors were waiting for consumer earnings like these to validate that belief at this point they've certainly been validated and i'm assuming that there will be more pain ahead for many mega caps which also means more downside for the dow s p and the nasdaq Okay, but again, still bullish. That said, I remain bullish on our outperforming basket of growth stocks and small caps. Capital needs to be deployed somewhere, and I'm confident that our favorite names will be consuming some of that capital outflow. Once again, cheers to properly navigating this macro. Cheers to honoring, I'm sorry, cheers to, I mean, honoring us. Cheers to honing in on the few winners, and cheers to staying properly hedged with those Tesla puts. I trust that this upward momentum will continue for the home team. So anyway, guys, a little celebration there, but again, if you're making money in this market, it is well deserved. It is not easy. It takes skill. It takes discipline. It takes, uh, I mean, it takes a rational mind and a, and a cool head to make money in this market. And uh, again, a keen eye for the winners, the diamonds in the rough. And uh, thankfully, we have been doing it that. So once again, you guys, free trial. Last time I'll shout this out, but I got to shout it out. Go try the free trial. First link down below for my birthday. All right. So uh, that said, you guys, let's dive into Roblox and so far on the charts. And once again, cover a few ticker symbols that I'm bullish on right now. You know what? I'll just give you guys the honorable mentions right now, which are Unity and Matterport. Okay, Vuzix has actually been doing very well as well. So Vuzi on top of these, uh, but Matterport, Unity, you can see that actually Unity for a lot of the day was trading in the green, but at the near the end of market close, just closed down. But Unity, such a great company. I have a great friend, one of my best friends in the world who works for Unity, so I am biased, but this is a great company. And uh, considering they have seen over an 85% correction from the high just in November is staggering. And uh, again, you guys, it's great companies like these growth stocks in the tech space that are like, like Unity, like Matterport, that have gotten over overly beaten down, like SoFi as well, but SoFi is bouncing back in a very impressive way. These stocks, that many investors just dumped out of the portfolio because they got scared out. They were they were acting emotionally. When you can actually rationalize and internalize, I mean, like the recent earnings report, that's the reason Roblox and SoFi are doing so well. After their earnings reports, they sold off out of emotion because people were just scared of any earnings report. Earnings are so scary right now. But for those who actually internalize, and again, I am one of those who, who capitalized on some of these dips we saw. If you actually look at the earnings reports and play out the future and people, again, taking out credit loans on SoFi, people, kids going into summer vacation, going to be spending a lot more on Roblox. Like when you, when you think rationally and just kind of play these things out in your head, it becomes very obvious that what we're seeing is emotion. This selling is emotional and not rational. And again, if you're able to, 
I mean, be a shark in these bloody waters and capitalize on um, on the fear that other investors display, then that's when you make money, okay? So, Roblox, SoFi, again, my two probably number ones right now, just because they've been, I mean, the price action has been speaking for themselves, but Unity and Matterport are two names that I'm very excited about right now as well. Okay, so Roblox right now, I'll just keep it simple on the charts. You guys give you guys some short-term price targets. Roblox, again, just uh, let's get a quick price range right now. Where is the price range? I believe it's in this one. Price range from that low we saw. So from the low over here on May 10th to the high we saw um, yesterday at the time of recording, Roblox has already bounced back 70%. But again, that's just investors getting rational. But I do think that it's possible that Roblox does continue to rebound. Again, kids going back to school. Ki or, I'm sorry, kids graduating school leaving their given school year going into summer vacation they're going to be sitting down playing a lot more video games okay they're going to be outside a lot more for sure than the past few years which is great i 100 back that but the reality is gaming is going nowhere technology is going nowhere it's all just going up from here and uh, roblox has i mean we're not going to cover their earnings report you guys but go look at their earnings report if you haven't their numbers are bonkers and their growth rates are bonkers. Okay, so Roblox, very bullish. I do think Roblox can play out this kind of janky little inverse head and shoulders right here. First shoulder, head coming up. Maybe some sideways price action. We called this well a few days ago. Um, capitalized once again in the portfolio today, if I'm being, or yesterday, I think, if I'm being honest. But anyway, Roblox, I do think, can play out this inverse head and shoulders pattern. Shoulder right here, head coming down go sideways for a little bit longer and i do think roblox can resolve this shoulder as well as fill this gap set on april 20th right around 40 bucks all right so that's roblox let's take a look at sofi which has been doing well as well as do a price range on this when it loads because my wi-fi sucks so boom price range from the low well the low to, to the high we saw actually just today so sofi has gained 55 percent since the low it saw and uh again you guys it's just it's just investors realizing everyone needs money. There's a credit bubble right now. I'm not going to get into that, but there is a credit bubble forming uh, individuals, just your retail Joe's out there. The average American is taking out record levels of credit debt because of inflation, because of lowering wage. Or I mean, not lowering wages, but wages not catching up with inflation. The cost of goods obviously skyrocketing due to that inflation. A lot of people not working, not used to or used to spending a lot more than they actually have without the stimmy checks. There's a lot that's going into this, you guys. But SoFi will ultimately be one of the companies that benefits from this because they give out personal loans and lines of credit. So Again, investors realizing realizing that SoFi doing, I mean, crazy numbers in terms of revenue uh, versus valuation. They're doing, I mean, I think they're going to do a billion in revenue this year and they're only worth, they're going to do over a billion in revenue this year and they're only worth like six and a half billion even after this bounce. So uh, SoFi looking great. I do think SoFi will, might, might see a short-term correction, but I do ultimately think SoFi will play out a similar pattern to roblox and play out this inverse head and shoulders uh ultimate price target for sofi is going to be about nine bucks um, which is a pretty impressive uh, pretty impressive gain considering we're only at 720 right now okay so sofi roblox two socks i really like unity and matterport are my honorable mentions and uh yeah if you guys want to know lastly how i'm trading these on a day 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 to day basis again check out that free trial all right so we'll call it there you guys i appreciate you watching give the video a like let me know in the comments down below what of these stocks we talked about today are your favorite. If not on this list, what's your favorite stock in the market right now? And uh, yeah, I look forward to talking with you downstairs. Till next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.